Another way for you to never be broke again is to be thankful for pennies. I know you're like, wait a minute, wait a minute, Glendon. Pennies are not going to help my current situation. And that may be well and true, but the mindset that you have towards pennies is not going to help your current situation in any shape, fashion, or form. When we had the storage auction business, we had a problem. Too much small inventory. Clothing, drapes, laundry baskets, ironing boards, irons, microwaves. This was things that sometimes I would get 10, 20, 30 microwaves in a month. Or maybe, I remember one month, I think I got like 80 microwaves, you know, 30 sets of washer and dryers. But, you know, that wasn't a problem. But the thing is, the smaller stuff was stacking up so quickly. And there was a dump fee because it was going to the dump of the, tra- the Doraville transfer station. There was so many ways that we were spending money. And I just said, hey, let's just carve out a section of the warehouse and put everything in there for a dollar, including some of these microwaves. My partner at the time was extremely resistant because some of the things that I wanted to put over there were just... Um, she, she didn't want to do it. She didn't want to do it. And I said, look... This stuff is coming in faster than we can sell it, and our customers are playing these games. Hey, hey, Mr. Salesman, Mr. Business Owner, uh, you know, I was here six weeks ago, and this is still here. I know you want 30, but would you take 10? And more and more people started doing that. It's like, we got to move this stuff. It's just, you know, they're playing us. And she's like, all right, let's do it. And the first few weekends, it didn't go well. And I said, look, we, you know, it's selling. We're moving more stuff, and I think, you know, We started making money, but around the sixth weekend, that's when the true potential of what to come was shown. We did four thousand dollars in one day. Yes, that was four thousand dollars, four thousand items, mostly clothing. Uh, We were selling uh, maybe even more than that because people were just saying, hey, what if I, you know, take this trash bag and all the clothes I put in there and give you a hundred bucks? Okay, (laughs) you know, fine. We're doing it like that. But. Those pennies and those dollars actually paid the rent during some very lean times because sometimes the big stuff just doesn't move, but you need consistent cash flow. So by having this mindset that you are grateful for pennies, that you're grateful for small sales, you know, I have products up to twenty five hundred down to five dollars. And when I see that email like, oh, you just sold well, nine dollars. I think you have nine bucks. And I see that. Oh, you just sold the ebook. I'm grateful. That's more money than I had before that email came in. I'm I'm grateful for the $9 sales. I'm grateful for the $20 sales. I'm grateful for the $50 sales. I'm grateful for the $100, the $500. I'm grateful for it all because, see, this is the thing. Once you start saying, I don't like money, see, your subconscious mind does not differentiate when it's like, oh, don't give me those pennies. What it hears is, don't give me that money. I'm serious. And if you don't believe me, I want you to conduct this experiment this week. I want you to go out. I know it's a sound crazy, but I want you to dedicate what you can. Don't hurt yourself. But say 25 to 100 bucks to give to some stranger. And they're like, what? Yes, 25 to 100 bucks. So say 25 bucks, you buy someone's groceries, you buy someone's meal and just dip. Now, they will be surprised and they will trip. But if but you will see a level. You, they will feel like they won the lottery. I mean, it's just it's so fun to watch. I see why people with a lot of money like to do it anonymously because you you it's like people feel it's like Christmas. You just bought someone twenty five dollars worth of groceries. So reason I want you to spend this money is you are demonstrating an abundant mindset, even though it may cost you. Like I said, don't you know, pay your bills. Do not not pay any bills to do this. Pay your bills, do whatever. Make sure this is extra money. And just go out and spread that money. Also, another thing I want you to do, when you start making more money, I want you to start tipping more. Don't, you know, just tip more. You know, if you get great service and you could just tip more. Because, see, once you start circulating money and putting money out there, you demonstrate that money is your friend. And you can, you understand that you put some money out there, it's going to come back to you. You're not going to be tripping over $5 or $10 or $20 or $50. Because that's money that you've just given to a stranger. Because what you're doing is you're conditioning your mind to receive more money. I know it's like, wait a minute, Glendon, 
I'm giving money away. How does that condition my mind to receive more money? Well, I'm going to break it down like it's never been broken down before. First of all, for you to give, you must have the faith and understanding that you will get money in the future. You would not give away your last fifty dollars when you know that you don't have fifty more coming in. It's like, hey, I don't have, I don't know when I'm getting any more money, so you can't give away. When you start to give money away or to help people out or to help strangers out, and once again, strangers, you see, you go out and do this for a stranger, they'll just be wow, thank you, and everything, but they will not expect for you to do it again. If you start doing this with friends and family, they will expect for you to do it again. So you could be creating some monsters because it's like, whoa, you know, like you remember when you got started and you know you bought my groceries? Well, hey, I see you got that new BMW. I'm about to go to the grocery store. Wink, wink, nod, nod, elbow. Yeah. Strangers. <laughs> Because you could create some monsters. I'm about to say, if you got someone who's sick or someone who's seriously, seriously going through it, that's one thing. But for the purposes of this exercise, go out and bless and just spend and circulate money with strangers. You know, try to do it once a week if you can. Once a month is fine. But make this a consistent part of you developing a new money mindset. Because I know it seems almost counterproductive. It's like, hey, Glennon, I'm trying to get money. You talking about giving money to strangers? Yes. Because when you give out money like that, you'll never be broke. I know it sounds crazy. It sounds over the top strange, but you'll never be broke. It will be, it will just kind of blow your mind because the thing is, you have let go of your stress of money. See, for you to give you are confident that you will have money coming in your life. And your mind, your, your, the crocodile mind, the subconscious mind, that, that, that place would be like, oh, we're going to get more money to give out? Okay, boss, let's do it. So essentially, you're conditioning yourself to receive more because you're giving more because you've created another purpose in your life. So that's your exercise. And if you can only spare five, that's cool. If you can only spare 10, that's cool. But make this a habit. Make this a habit and it will open up a new channel of gratitude and it'll open up a new channel of money to come to you. It will not be you go out and buy someone groceries for $50, then you're going to get $50 back. It doesn't work like that. You will go out and do someone $50 and then all of a sudden, I mean, one time I did it and this insurance policy that I forgot I had. Because I did it, and like six weeks later, I got this check for like $1,200. I was like, where'd that come from? And it was like, well, yeah, this insurance policy, you'd overpaid, and we caught it. Really? I don't know. I don't know. So go ahead and learn how to develop a money circulating mindset. So that's your exercise. Get busy.